along Central Avenue and across from Churchill Downs. Businesses are boarding up their windows as groups of protesters plan to show up on Derby Day. Put some barriers up here. We don't know what to expect. John Tan of Little John's Derby Jewelry says he had no issues with demonstrators around Churchill last week. But as more out-of-towners make their way to Louisville. We're just prepared in case anything were to happen we don't want. And the racetrack surrounded by fencing, as it is every derby, though this year has a new dynamic. Teams of officers will be in the area of Churchill Downs, prepared to address any traffic issues or unlawful protest. Louisville Metro Police making it clear that offenses like blocking streets, vandalism, and violence will lead to an arrest. The Kentucky National Guard, which always patrols the derby, will also be in place for this one. They'll help us with public safety concerns in and around the neighborhoods. Earlier this week, Pastor Timothy Finn Lee Jr., founder of the Justice and Freedom Coalition, said their presence will be felt after more than 100 days demanding justice in Breonna Taylor's death. We are not okay with this, that this is not something that we feel we should be celebrating right now. Major Aubrey Gregory says he's also been in touch with the leader of the NFAC Black Militia Group. Grandmaster Jay has been gracious enough to let us know that they plan on being in Louisville for about four or five hours. Uh, and then they will leave. LMPD says they'll establish what they're calling viewing areas as a way to funnel those with opposing viewpoints to different sections on Central Avenue. And Tan, he views it this way. It's strange. It's just odd. Never seen any derbies like this. Still coming to terms with the idea that there could be more people outside the track than inside. Heather Fountaine for the 19th.